Good morning. Weekend prospector here. We're going to have us a great weekend. Plus a little extra this weekend. In about four hours or so, we've got a baby shower taking place over at Heaton. Heaton Flats. But we've got good weather expected. 80 to 85. Nighttime lows, 60 to 65. It's going to be awesome. Let's get our dig on. Okay, I've made it back to a, a recent dig. It's not too far from where the baby shower is going to be held at Heaton. So, I think I'll just uh, set my sluice over there. And I'm going to sample in this area right here for flower. Uh, I'm assuming that right up in here I should be able to get some. But uh, after the baby shower, I'm not sure if I'll be coming back to this area or not. But it is beautiful. Okay, just to explain a little bit. I'm going to do two half fives at a time. So we've got five. I've got it right there. Um, we are on the inside bend. This is down a little ways. It's easy digging. I'm hoping to just uh, hit on a little bit of flower. Maybe some you know, decent streaks of it some flower going I'm not sure how well that's going to be right there I didn't bring my classifier but I'm hoping not to have to let's see what we got okay we've ran that five and I believe we've got a few little pieces in there Small piece, you got a couple more right there. So, there's a few pieces of gold in there, and that's out of a five. I really can't travel too far because of the baby shower, so we're gonna continue digging right there. We'll see what happens. It seems to me we are doing quite well for such easy digging. Man, there's a little bit there. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I'm just chewing at that. Probably going down about a foot and a half. I'll just continue, keep working, widening. I might just actually camp right here again. It's such easy digging, it's not far a hike back up to the parking lot. Well, let's see if we can at least get a half a gram this weekend. All right, I do not have time for another run. Uh, some black sand's hiding it, but because most of it is flour, but. Let's see if we can take a look to it again. I don't know. Hopefully you've seen some. Can't tell. A little glare. But, uh, yeah, it's time to clean up, see everything, and get my butt to the baby shower. Let's do it. Well, this is all I got for my first run. I got here late, and that is flour. But, I don't know, it's gold. So, I'm gonna come back here after the baby shower and I'm just gonna keep working it. Well, the baby shower didn't work out as planned. So, I came back to where I was digging. I just ran five and I'm not seeing anything. I ran five from uh, this area right there. But I'm gonna go back over to where I was digging, see if I can find a pattern. Maybe the gold's a little bit thicker as I get towards the river's edge, or maybe deeper in. I don't know, we'll find out. Okay, y'all, we haven't had much luck down here. Matter of fact, I don't seem to be having any luck whatsoever. 
So, checking different areas up and down this, I cleared out this area, pulled all the boulders out, large rocks, and, uh, well, we got us two half fives. A little over, probably about six gallons. Try to keep it that way. But, uh, yeah, it won't be long. We're going to have to set up lights. We're going to get a few hours of night prospecting in. Oh, yeah. Can't mix up. Had my coffee. I'm going to get me some mini raviolis here in a little bit, too. Got to get ready for night prospecting. Let's do this. Okay, it's going to get dark fast. Uh, I worked in that area. I dug down pretty good. Cleaned it out, pulled out more big rocks. I just, uh, we're not hitting on anything. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, sample up there in that side well. Right up in there. So we'll just check that out and I guess we'll uh, maybe punch a hole down deeper. Maybe 15, 20 feet past where I was just at over there. Yeah, we're pretty much just going to sample for the evening and see how it goes. Because uh, darkness is about to set in and I was kind of hoping to find a, something that we could work on in one spot. But that ain't going to happen. Darkness is coming. Well, we dug down there a ways. I went down about, I don't know, 15 feet past where I left off. And I'm seeing some light speckles in here. I mean, if we got any gold at all, it, it's, it's scattered with the black sands. It's as small as the black sands. So, therefore, true flower. <laughs> but anyways, we'll go ahead and check out that area up there and see right up there okay we've done samples from both areas um, there's a little bit of gold down here Anyway, that's really small gold. I don't know if we should continue or wait till daylight. I don't know. The hammock is looking inviting. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we got. Hopefully there's enough of flour where uh, it'll be worth all the effort. So well, this is our night run. Let me try to do it with the uh, light of the camera. Okay, and this is using the light of the camera. This is all we got for the evening. Yeah, I didn't clean it perfectly. It's too dark, and that's not an awful lot of gold. So, in the morning, we're going to have to move on and find us something better. So, coffee and relaxation, here I come. Here's an interesting fella. He looks like a leaf. That's his camouflage. Okay, we're going to do some night panning. I'm going to go ahead and check out the area. Go down a little bit further. Maybe even further than that. Okay, well... I don't know if it looks gold in the camera, but four pieces from up there. I don't know. Keep sampling. And good morning. Sunday morning. Uh, 
it is beautiful. I slept in a little bit. Got my coffee almost done with that. My breakfast is almost ready to eat. And we got us a day of sampling. We're going to have to. I'm not sure if I should go ahead and sample down over here before we move on. But looks like somebody started to build a small dam over this way. Right here is where I went ahead and sampled last night with that one pan. Got those four flakes. But this little dam is like half-hearted attempt. And there's no digging around it really. So I'm just wondering. Maybe we should sample up right around somewhere around in this area maybe. I mean, it starts to open up. See right here at bottlenecks? It's uh, I'm on the inside bend. The bottlenecks and it starts opening up. So, therefore there should be a drop. I mean, at least that's what I'm thinking. So, maybe we'll sample a little bit right around in here. And, of course, over there. We'll do that before we move on. Maybe we'll find something chunky. Alright, we packed up. We moved down just a little ways. Over there, you can see the, where I was digging. I got a half a five from the area where I got four pieces last night. We're going to go ahead and run that. I got the sluice running good, but I'm not sure at what level I'm going to have to hand classify. I might not have to again. Seems to be running pretty good. Well, it doesn't work. We're packed up. We're going to move on. Now we went down even further and we punched the hole there. I ran about a half a five of hand classified material. You can see the sluice up there. But no, I hand classified it down to probably an eighth of an inch. I want to get a proper reading. So now I'm standing on a big rock. Boulder, if you will. In the middle of the river. It doesn't look like it's been touched. I can see silt sitting on top of the rock. This might be our last our last sample. Look, you got big rocks right there. I think right around there at the end of that rock, somewhere in this area, should be a really good spot to try. Then it's time to move on. We'll, uh, we'll leave the area completely. Now we did it. We got that sample. It's about a third of a five. Classified down to about a sixteenth of an inch by hand. So, yeah, I did get a decent amount of dirt anyways. And I'm not seeing anything. So we're going to clean up, chances are I'll have a little bit of flour, but nothing to justify the amount of time I put in sampling these areas. Maybe I need to reduce how much I'm sampling, but uh, we're going to get something to eat and we're going to move on. Let's see if we can find us a hot spot. I'm fixing to make my lunch. This will be my second time uh, talking about it, but uh, has anybody else done that? Powdered meal, complete nutrition like 400 calories per drink it's called Huel uh, I don't know I use it it saves on weight when you're camping out for a couple days I wonder if somebody else does that well being brutally honest this is all I got from all the sampling I don't know maybe Three little pieces and the rest just, I don't know, 15, 20 little teeny flowers. But that's it. We're moving on. I'm down here close to Heaton. This is, uh, that used to be a hole right there. Right in there where I had dug. Uh, this is where I came, I think it was in February maybe? I'm not sure. It's in one of my past videos. But uh, I was setting my sluice up right around in here where I'm standing. And uh, I was digging right there at the end of my sluice and I got flooded in. You can see the difference in the river height now. But anyways, I was getting a little bit of gold there. And then I came over here and started digging right around in this area a little bit. Yeah, everything's different. I'm gonna Go ahead and try to set up in here. Should be able to do it. Yeah, there's a unnatural dam here.
but let's give it a try. Well, we moved a bunch of material. A lot. And I'm not seeing anything. I know it's choppy, but maybe I was running it still a little too hot. Hopefully the drop ripples caught something, but we're going to go ahead and clean up. I'm kind of done with this spot right here. And I might clear out a little area on this wall. Maybe somewhere, I don't know, right around in here. Dig that out. Other than that, we're down by heating, so this area is kind of overworked. Next time I'll either stop at Paddle Canyon, or we're going to have to go back up past Swan to Alice's Gulch. Slim Pickens. This is all we got from that area. Yeah, that's some of some of the smallest uh, pieces, but uh, anyway, yeah, we're gonna have to dig a little bit in that wall just to sample and we'll move on. All right, uh, we'll set back up. And for our final sample, we're going to go ahead and chip at some of this. The wall's been knocked down and all that light powder overburden. I'm not sure if I'm interested in that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to break some of this down and run it. It'll be our final for today. Well, I'm back home. That last area that I did on that sidewall didn't produce really anything. Wow, why is it so fuzzy? Uh, there we go. But anyways, yeah, it's not cleaned up properly. I put the diamond there for you guys to see. I don't think I really have enough to weigh. But uh, still, it was a great trip. It was a great weekend. My next one will be better. We're going to be doing a lot of sampling. Uh, and if nothing else... We could always stop by Swan and get us, you know, a decent amount of gold. But until then, heavy pants, my friends. See you next time.